classified by the authority of the SCP Foundation Overseer Council. This document and all associated documents are the property of the SCP Foundation and are subject to the classification requirements and restrictions therein. This document may or may not contain lethal memetic defense measures. Attempting to access or disseminate this document without proper and sufficient authorization is punishable by death. Item number SCP-5527 Security Level 5 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Assigned Site Site 02 Site Director Redacted Research Head Redacted Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures The remaining mass of SCP-5527 is to be kept in a refrigerated container at Site 02's morgue. Further consumption of SCP-5527 is prohibited. Description SCP-5527 is a whale carcass, the innards of which resemble human physiology that has been augmented in a way to complement SCP-5227's shape and size. Various musculature and tissue inside SCP-5527, when applied to a living creature, would be non-functional or otherwise superfluous in an aquatic environment. Aside from a thick layer of fat surrounding its innards and the size of such, SCP-5527's anatomy, including skeletal structure, musculature, and the locations of internal organs, is identical to that of a human. Carbon dating techniques have revealed that SCP-5527 is approximately 30,000 years old. Despite this, SCP-5527 has not been observed to deteriorate beyond its present state. Traces of decayed ink has been observed on SCP-5527's left iliac artery. Material derived from SCP-5527 will, upon consumption, allow for ability to breathe in aquatic environments. This effect has been observed to last for up to 12 hours, and is otherwise poorly understood. All attempts to analyze SCP-5527's DNA using Foundation systems have failed due to an inability to recognize material from SCP-5527 as biological. Addendum 5527-1 Discovery SCP-5527 was found on 2021 January 1st when it was washed ashore on Benton Island near Indonesia in front of a private estate belonging to Overseer Council Member 0512, who had been residing there at the time. Upon request, SCP-5527 was transferred to Site-02. Note, an unlisted facility staffed exclusively by high-ranking Foundation personnel, used to store and research anomalies of the highest sensitivity to Foundation security for research purposes. Addendum 5527-2 Testing Log We swam in the sea we knew to be empty. Test 1 Subject 1. Promiscus Ilcopus White Mouse Note, Subject was prompted to consume a piece of SCP-5527's brain matter. Following consumption, it was placed in a small cage before being lowered into a tank of water. Result, subject remained underwater for four hours before expiring. Signs of distress were observed throughout the process. Test 7. Subject, Researcher Avalon. Note, subject was instructed to consume a piece of SCP-5527's pectoral tissue. Following consumption, subject was placed in a cage fitted with a safety system and submerged in a body of water. Result, Subject remained underwater for one hour before signaling for the cage to be raised. Aside from initial difficulties adjusting to breathing in both environments, no signs of distress or discomfort were observed. Researcher Avalon was promptly interviewed and asked to describe her experience. An excerpt of her writing can be found below. You lose all sense of who you are and where you are. 
and I was told I only lasted an hour. I didn't know how to respond. It felt like weeks, like I fell asleep and dreamt for a month straight. At the same time, it wasn't dreaming. I was cognizant of what was happening, and I could reflect on things as clearly as I could see them in front of me. I relived my life a hundred times. Every regret, moment of bliss, and even the perspectives of those around me, I fixated on a part of myself I don't like to think about. The whole time, there was a stinging feeling in the back of my neck that told me I was doing something wrong, or that I'm still doing something wrong. Following the interview, researcher Avalon requested anesthetization which was denied in order to further observe the effects of consuming SCP-5527. Test 10. Subject, one copy of children's book, The Cat in the Hat, written by Dr. Seuss. Note, subject was chosen due to a lack of water present in the narrative. Subject was forced to consume a piece of SCP-5527's tailbone to an anomalous process involving SCP beep and was then submerged for half hour. Results Upon review, the central narrative of this copy of The Cat in the Hat had changed entirely. A summary can be found below. The story begins in a house of twelve unnamed, nondescript children who express boredom with the current situation. A loud noise is heard from the basement, and the character of The Cat in the Hat emerges from the cellar door. He promises to show the children ways to occupy themselves, but the children's pet fish objects. The cat laughs and removes the fish from its bowl. He replaces the bowl's water with a liquid that pours from underneath his hat. Upon reintroducing the fish to the bowl, it drowns. Her children, now ecstatic without the presence of the sole supervising force in their lives, begin to vandalize the house breaking objects and drawing on walls. Among other destructive activities, the cat offers to retrieve two beings, referred to as the things, from the basement to assist with the destruction. The children become immediately frightened, some to the point of tears, and beg the cat to leave the things where they belong. As the cat continues to threaten the children with going into the basement, an obscure figure is seen approaching the house from outside the window. The children realize the mess they've made and panic. The cat takes pleasure in the distress and retreats into the basement. The obscured figure opens the front door and the children begin to run. The book ends with a question posed to the reader. What would you do if you could know the truth? Further testing regarding SCP-5527 has been prohibited at the request of the O5 Council. Addendum 5527-3 Incident 5527 We should have been more careful. Incident Log Date 2021 January 12th At 025 Overseer Council Member O512 accessed SCP 5527's containment locker and proceed to consume a large amount of its innards, including the entirety of its brain, heart, eyes, and skeleton. Following this, O512 proceeded to a residence on Brinter Island, where SCP-5527 had been discovered. Surveillance cameras revealed that O512 entered a nearby body of water and swam out to an indeterminate length where it is assumed she submerged herself to the point of drowning. After such effort, O512's corpse was recovered on 2021, January 24th. It was found embedded in the seabed, partially buried under sand. Various lacerations and markings were observed on the cadaver, as well as its clothing. A search of O512's residence they covered the following document, hastily composed on a napkin following her consumption of SCP-5527. Wow, we should be ashamed of ourselves. This is what we deserve. After a popular demand, we brought back a brand new set of little misters. 
a limited edition collection from Dr. Wonderdayment. Isn't that fun? Find them all and become the brand new Mr. Collector. Zero, Mr. Prologue. One, Mr. Dark. Two, Mr. Remembrance. Three, Mr. Toxic. Four, Mr. Collector. Five, Mixed Voltage. Six, Beep Gears. Seven, Mr. Memory. Eight, Mr. Nobody. Nine, Mr. Brainy. Ten, Miss Seraph. Eleven, Mr. Chrono and Mr. Dimension. Twelve, Mr. Fish. Thirteen, Mr. Epilogue. Fourteen, Mr. Red Discontinued. Research efforts into the context of this document and the name Dr. Wonderdayment remain active.